everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because why sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom. And today guys, it's young boy 2, Manchester United 1. That's all right. Manchester United flopping on their first opening game of the Champions League campaign. The group stage dropping three points, you know, against young boys. Against young boys, guys. We lost to young boys. Manchester United, long, the man in our Chester lost to young bloody boys today. You know, you will probably think that Benny, Benjamin Mendy plays for us these days. You get me out here with these young boys, you get me? But yeah, I'm so annoyed the fact that we dropped points. I understand that this one has to go to Iron Wan Bissaka. Spider Wan himself let us down with his legs, detangling himself with a stupid foul as well. This is what happens when you got dandy legs for yourself and you've got bad ball control at times you couldn't control the ball with that ball and ended up getting yourself sent off with a dangerous player as well dangerous play guys and hats up to the referee he called it right people would put all the said oh my god man that that's just that's just not his fault he just couldn't control himself but hey it's not my fault that and one seconds can't doesn't have good ball control you know if he had good ball control, he would have been able to make that pass and he would have not been able to make that stupid decision which cost us as well. And I understand that Manchester United as well, with a man down guys, yes, it was hard. Yes, it's going to be hard, it's going to be gruesome. But can you keep the ball for crying out loud? Can you keep the ball? Ball retention is one thing that I keep constantly saying. If we was able to be like Manchester City, Manchester City with a man down, it's not a problem. They will still have 60 to 70 percent of the possession and still beat young boys. I guarantee you this: if your Manchester City was playing young boys, they would have scored. Performance-wise, it wasn't the best for Manchester United. Even after we got the man down, we was unable to keep the ball, create chances. First 45 minutes. I'm glad that Ronaldo got his goal. Yes, he got his goal. Brilliant. Brilliant cross by Bruno as well. Delightful cross, you know, with a wonderful finish, you know, outside the ball for Bruno, another assist by him. But it's the fact that after that red card, even when it was 1-0 up, we still looked like we couldn't keep the ball against the young boys. Young boys were cause of the problem. After that, it just got worse, man. And the substitutions itself, it did not make sense. Saying. It made no sense. I would like to ask Oli Gunnar Solskjaer a question. If he was going to play free at the back and switch the system, why didn't you do that in the first place? That first substitution, taking on Jaden Sancho and bringing on Diego Dalla, why didn't you switch to a back three and bring on Varane straight away if he was going to switch the back three? Because we looked completely better as a team when we switched it to a back three. We was able to be more free and get players forward as well. And then take off Van der Beek in, after 45 minutes. I thought it was harsh. He made that sacrifice to make that change. What was the whole point? To end up having a striker, they're not having a striker, they're having a striker towards the end again. It, it says it all. And this is where your manager earns his money, you know. Top managers earn their money. In these kind of situations, you all saw Chelsea against Liverpool. Chelsea was able to do something. It is disappointing to, for us to have lost this game. I mean, for us to have lost the game. With Jesse Lingard himself making that mistake, Making that mistake in the final couple of seconds, you know. <sighs> terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. With that match ending two goals to one, just a horrible start to our Champions League campaign. But we can pick, we're going to pick it up, guys. Well, oh, we are going to pick it up. I just know it. I just know it. Donkey of the match got to go to Aaron Wan Bissaka for that stupid mistake, that stupidity as well. Yes, it was hard. It was hard on him at, with that because you thought to yourself, oh yeah, it's, it's not his fault. But still, it is what it is. Football's ruthless, especially in Champions League. The referee don't care. And he cost us this game because we was doing all right. We was doing all right. Even though we scored the first goal, we were just doing all right. Man, the match, you know there's none of that stuff right now. Man, Shinaholics, we've lost the game. We lost our game, the first game of the season as well. I know Ronaldo was annoyed. I was annoyed as well. He looked at like the players and he looked at probably like the manager as well. Your gay in game management is shit, super shit. But yes, Manchester United fans will win the next game. Of course, guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivory Spice. Remember to follow the official Instagram account for Ivory.
of Reggie Night TV, which is Reggie Night TV One, baby, and the official TikTok account, which is Reggie Night TV, and also my personal Instagram account, which is Ivory underscore Spice. Same as the Twitter, guys. Last but not least, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it Reggie Night. Peace out. I'm out. Boom.